now, Ignar's on the other side. His ult is coming up. As we see a TP coming into the fight as well. FlyQuest wants to back off just a little bit here, knowing Dignitas could really make a shock and off fight happen from distance. And do they get control of mid now? Solo's gonna call the Ornhorn Horn off. Who do they want? And there's really no follow-up from that distance. They were trying to push him off mid, and FlyQuest is getting a little haphazard here, and they're re-engaged. Dignitas is also tempting. Solo's out of position here, Kobe. This one's getting a bit zany. That's going to be a lockdown onto Solo, and that's exactly what he is, trying to get back with his team and not be the Lone Ranger here. Viper goes down immediately again. Not so much thick skin on the bear this game. Santorin starts to get the Rangers' focus in from Johnson, and that becomes a little tougher to take down the tank. Aphromoo finds himself as the caboose in this retreat, and he goes down, and it's going to keep following up. The dominoes start to fall for Dignitas, and Santorin and the rest of the team are the ones to pick up. Up. Yep, FlyQuest, they even have to teleport for Solo. He's back out onto the map. The Baron will get picked up. Froggen gets chased out of Dignitas' own jungle by Power of Evil, and that is going to be the tipping point. FlyQuest with this should be able to crack inside the base, take those inhibitor turrets down. Man. TP, so they are going to just try to finish this off before CLG can actually get in place. And so Smoothie is going to ult the dragon, trying to delay to see if they can get here in time. But I still think it's going to be too, too late. Oh, it's close, but Smite is good from Santorin. Stun now landing in onto Wiggly. He's going to have to take the portal out. The Cinder ulti not enough, but first blood to Igno as he flashes in for that Q as top lane. It's all let loose here. Good ult from Solo. Ruling really going to try and knock him back and maybe look for the re engage, but just a trade of blows and no one falling yet, but still the Drake and the First Blood do go to FlyQuest. Yeah, well done by FlyQuest, and I think that's CLG. There's a ward behind the back, there's the hook from Core JJ. I think TL know they have to fight, they do get Power of Evil, and now that's going to force FlyQuest off the Baron, but they are going to stick around here in a 4v3, wanting to finish the objective. Mash, Mash oh, you have got to be careful, bud. All right, Ulti's going to miss, but Jensen's going to get in there, and Ignar cannot save his teammate. Now the Baron is way too low, but Solo's going to lock him up. Santorin's going to try and finish it off, but the Baron still has 700 health left, and oh. he steals the Broxa! Leaps into the pit, he's able to take that down, and that went so wrong for FlyQuest. Oh, Mash trolled that so hard. Oh, no, FlyQuest should have had that 100%. And one I will say that they maybe should have known about, because... He actually tried to go on Cody Sun, and Cody Sun was over by that red buff, so you had to know that Ignar could have been there. Someday getting very aggressive, the oh. move is on the flank. Mash trying to get himself away, but Someday is able to bring down the hammer, and now Power of Evil is going to feel the power of Cody Sun. Look at the damage flying out through these spears, as Ignar should likely die here to the solo kill coming out from Someday as well. Ryoma's Doesn't behind have the them. flash to go over the wall and chase him. Ryoma coming in from behind. There's your Syndra flank, Isaac. There's your plays from 100 Thieves. A double kill for Ryoma. He heard me talking smack. He put those kills on the board. And now the Thieves will take both the Drake and the Baron. They're starting up both objectives. On anyone except Broken Blade, so there's no way to actually respond to this. So as sad as it is, uh, Broken Blade probably just dead already and probably knows it. Syndra is going to be coming in and we'll see how they start this up. Ults a lot of the waves, Solo ults in, a lot of damage, they turn off the turret, there is no possible way you survive, it was effortless, and the gold comes over, a second assist for Power of Evil, now Ignar wants it, if Bjergsen is out of mana, easy autos come in, couple of slows there, really good jumps, Bjergsen forced to go away, and Turtle says, hey, remember me, we used to be teammates, and I got you killed yet again, now speaker has got to run back out of his turret, back down, and wow, that's Dead Ignar too. going in, you gotta be kidding me, TSM are in shambles, I mean, speak of his paper. He, he didn't have anything except the jungle item and boots at that point. He just bought a root supportive of these two big hyper carries. Recognizes it's all about Azir and Aphelios as Demonte is coming in from the side yet again. The Galio is always showing up, getting ready to take the fight to FlyQuest. Now he's nearly going to be killed off. Demonte disengaging as Solo controls Haunter and tries to prevent the flank. Closer's coming in, and Santorin is People all down. gone. Wild Turtle going in. Here comes Power of Evil. The damage has showed up for FlyQuest, and the shutdown comes through. Haunter has no stasis. That's what happens when Kinnon doesn't have utility. But Demonte's right back into the fight. He will trade his life for Ignar. Mid laner for support is not usually the one for one that you aim for, and FlyQuest will win that fight. River mostly belongs to FlyQuest. It's Immortals playing defense in the mid lane, knocking down the waves, giving some gold to Insanity. 
TP spent for Apollo to come in. He has to have Blade of the Ruin. Can have a chance this fight. Alorum walks into the Fog of War. He's gonna hook him in. Decent damage, but he is the tank. He is built for this. Is it gonna be enough? Still pushed around, and he's gonna have to flash away to save his life. Oathies come in. Turtle gets the kill, and a flash out from Insanity and away from Shockwave. A one for zero, and Immortals could not hit the back line at all. They simply kill the Alorum tank side, and all will be well. Gold card doesn't mean much. They're gonna flash in on Solo's side. They're gonna knock down Insanity. He's gonna force to run away as well for his own flash to get out for this one. And now Solo's got to be careful. He's going to kite back, but it's still a 5v4 for FlyQuest. And again, they know Cloud Solo's waiting for them. 25 seconds on Alorum respawning. Has ulti and TP when he does. Xmithy wants to make something happen. Can't do it just yet. Santor in the pit. No vision right now for Immortal. They have to go in at some point or they can't make it happen. When is Xmithy come in? He's rooted in place. Cloud Solo grab TP in. This is the fight that somehow Immortals must win, but they've already lost the support. Insanity slowed down by the box. Can't find a target. Attacked by Santor and stunned in place. And he's not going down. Finally, one kill picked up. Look at the chase down, but already the mid laner is going to drop. Burn the stopwatch. Solo being attacked. Can Apollo kill him? He's trying. He's trying. He's rooted. And the heal comes back through, and he simply cannot die. Alorum late to the party by himself. It's not going to matter. He kills one. Turtle tries to kite the rest. He gets a shield, and that's going to be an ace. Immortals are about to lose their season. Fly quest. I don't it is basically three CC tanks and, and just the Swain burn that EG would have to worry about. So Turtle's positioning is going to be huge. Well, nice attempt there. Hook's going to kind of buy some time. Out they go. Drake back now in 35 seconds. More Swain W. Gets some more health. Thanks, Zazel. Nice little heal for him. And we've got another attempt. Well, they have found those kills time and again. And now, as the mid lane is fought over, Poke keeps going. Centaurin down to only 1400 is not great. Finds some slow, finds some Poke, wants it on Sven Scare and gets a lantern for some shielding. That's going to be a lot of damage. The flash for him, and he's going to have to flash backwards to get away from the skill shots. But Centaurin's getting dangerously low. Arrow's going to land almost, but still goes to the uprights. Now on the front line is POE. Pops field needs the Zonius. Gets it just in time, and they've already knocked down Huni. POE still staying alive, getting another hit, bit of health back. Galliana over the top, looking for a knock by the Santorin. And now the re engage towards Golden Glue. Also back in towards Fence Care. Can't find that stun, but two autos will kill him. Solo slowed down. Golden Glue this time will go down. Great hook by Ignar. And now over the wall they go. EG cannot fight this anymore. Zazel gonna get hooked right back in. A single auto will kill him. POE, can he find the skill shot? And all the Turtle same can. time, the Drake is being attacked. That's gonna be Zazel going down. Fence Care is gonna drop as well. It's the four for zero. Make it all five. The Bud Light A's for FlyQuest. And the Mountain Drake gonna go their way as well. One more big play they have to pull off because the next big team fight results in Baron or Elder or both. Damage on Ignar yet again. Chunk pretty low. Here comes the re-engage. The flash out. The taunt still going to land. Good body to support. Doesn't matter what you have. You're still dead. Golden Glue only loses the Banshee's Veil. And EG, look at the minion wave. They're already into the mid lane. They're all ready to siege this one down. Baron is alive. Elder Dragon's in 18 seconds. The middle inhibitor going to be dropping for this one. Turret's dropping in a lot of different spots on the map right now. As bots being sieged in as well. Inhib is gone. Two big neutral objectives are up. And Ignar is down. The evil geniuses strike again. LeBlanc, you just, there's no response for it right now. Golden Glue goes in again. They get the pick. Ignar down. 12 seconds left. Uh, he can try and get there really quickly. Does that magical journey. Does, uh, you know, have the possibility of running quickly. But again, Golden Glue's just playing the offense here. He's yeah. trying to zone out the team continually on cooldown. Goes in, gets the chunk down with his distortion. And that happened it's stolen away by Santorin yet again and that is such a huge deal infernal soul is on zazel has got to be careful oh it's coming across shut down goes through the golden glue is this all they needed FlyQuest have the soul they have the two for zero when hoonie gets found out he is on the run to stay alive he's got the landers he's got the blast he's got away but you have baron on the map and eg you have to defend it 3v5 you have smite ready but Santorin also has smite and he's got a spell shield and dash available to get over the wall. Pick on a solo. Oh, solo is taking so much damage, but Turtle's able to show up and keep him alive here a little bit. Nice chain CC coming out. Santorin going in. Collateral damage with the kill. FlyQuest picking up a big kill onto the Cloud9 top laner, making sure C9 is not able to stay in. Incredibly low, and Jensen now hit level 11, so a significant increase in range on his ultimate. It gets harder and harder for champions like Azir to be able to do anything. Hook, Likewise. stun, play, jumps back, but an easy oh! scoop on to three, and Volibear's over the top. This time, Core got his ulti off, and it just did not matter. Jensen's gonna drop, and Volibear's gonna be low. He'll stay alive, it's not gonna be enough with the passive. And Jin W couldn't land, and here comes the squad. Yep, 
Step up here. We're blocking these shots. There isn't a line. Just stand still. Good job. No way for Santorin to die. It's going to time out eventually. Puts in his shots. And that's going to be an easy Herald pickup as well. Yeah, this is the thing. You know, it's, it's a very different style, right? You're playing Poke. You have to play those fights out to stay. And with a little bit of healing from the Bard, he can get pretty much back to full, and they will Big fight. Big hook on Volibear CC. Chain finally ults out. Can they get the rest? Oh. That's going to be the <laughs> Jin Snipe. They made it easy for him. Here you go. Moving in a straight line. Take Jin it there. There's in a portal. Solo and Impact doing battle. Ulti coming across. Impact wants the stun. Finds it by some time. Has to flash away from the queue. Yeah, Brox, I don't think he thought that through when he, jumped, when he jumped into the... Spotted right now, and now Toto's gonna fight back for vision control. Try to knock that ward down, does so. Now Broken Blade has to play it around the backside as well. Mid lane can be pushed, here comes the ult again for Solo. They want this fight right now. They're gonna go for double knock over the back line. FlyQuest going in for the Drake. Can they get the smite? Level Here's lead Broken is Blade. Centaur. Burst comes in, Centaur's gone already. A one for zero so far, and Zillion's still waiting on the ulti. FlyQuest have already lost the fight, and it's barely begun. Solo running low on health. No damage coming through to the back line of TSM. Damage through the power of evil. Trying to run away. Broken Blade will be revived. Yes, he will. Two for zero so far. Looking at a third as Wild Turtles forced to run away. Devil could be the target. Not knocked up though. Solo running out of health. Dragon Soul Claim. Oh, ready the fight is three for zero. Looking for a fourth double lift. Claims the kill credit on the Solo. Broken Blade claims Wild Turtle. And Ignar can only watch as he runs away. And TSM can look for the kill. They're surely going to find it. One more auto. And it's time to go for Baron. They are going for the Baron. They got the Dragon Soul. They got the Bud Light Ace. I'd love to be able to grab a Dragon here to push back any potential for a soul. And they're going to try to start it off with a pick on Turtle. Yep, they're going to go for the Bartley. That's going to land. Easy one on a Turtle. Here comes round two. Easy stun. Here comes the rest, but he still cannot move. Nothing can be done. And Wild Turtle has been tamed. Oh, to the backside. And there's number two. Harold's going to be summoned for not a whole lot out of Santorin. I think he just pressed the button overall. But now he's done it by Bjergsen as well. Careful, buddy. You're on a 1v3. Slowed by Bard. And just like that, TSM going to pick up three kills in a row. And the Drake's right in front of their eyes. They didn't even need Broken Blade finding two ultis. Three ultis are missing on the flight quest side. They're missing Orn. They're missing Caitlyn. They're missing Pantheon. Back 4K flash. health. They've got a Mark Spica. They got to get this guy out of the pit fast. He smites store the last one. They're still going for the 50-50, and they get it. He couldn't get over the wall. That was the crucial bit. There was no blast plant, no flash, no chance to steal. Five on five isn't good enough. Solo front lines. Big dunk on a turtle. Can they get the rest? Power people low. Shovels them back out. Two for one so far. And FlyQuest sure as hell won a game five. Bjergsen can try to deny it, but the Orn Horn is here for a single knockup. Biofrost is down. And a 2v5. The TSM Solo's again left alone, but FlyQuest got everything they want. It's smelling like game five here, Freak.